among my I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> Drive, damn you, drive! That is Richard Owen! A vile, despicable wretch of a man! Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! Stop! I'm telling you! I'm not your thing! Next stop! The River Thames! 
Better speak now, old man. Stop! For pity's sake, stop! Or I will tell you everything I know! Dr. Elliotson! Dr. John Elliotson! He formulated the elixir! He's the man you want! Not me! I beg you, good sir! Stop this madness! Now, was that so hard? Mr. Fry, I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Where would I find the doctor? As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ.
Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Lidson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patient. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. How to do it. What's the matter? very peculiar about that Dr. Elliotson. Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here. I've got to find myself another job.
Of course not, Dr. Elliotson. It will only take... Sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave, sir. Authorized personnel only. Please, go away. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave, sir. Authorized personnel only. Please, go away. Dr. Elliotson, it will only take a moment. Ugh, bloody rats! Take back, you filth! Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. <laughs> At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. 
designs are meant to be broken. I hear a child. A child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Hit him! 